So one of the longest standing bestsellers we've had has been this lady's scarf. I'm going to um, get some of those in the shop. <laughs> yeah, comes in lots of different variations and no matter what we do, people it's are still it. drawn to it. Working with the National Portrait Gallery has really helped from a networking point of view, sharing ideas, even just to the basic of having product and supplier recommendations that we've shared between colleagues. I brought this to you yes. and you've brought this to me yes. and we're going to now do yes. a kind of cross-pollination in the yes. shop, which is really nice. Yeah. I've spent a few days now at Compton Verney with Helen, who is the commercial manager here. And um, what the National Portrait Gallery has enabled us to do is do that cross-pollination. So we've been able to, on a very small scale, look at what we're selling and, and have the similarities and the differences between them, but also discuss about how you might approach the buying, where you might go. Probably one of the sort of significant differences to heritage retail than mainstream retail is that we can sell a £3 vase or greetings card but in the same afternoon sell a £500 painting and that's what makes it interesting but it also can make it challenging because you have to think about the risk around that sort of price point of product so that's where again something that's quite unique to this sector is the sale or return aspect of product buying as it's sale or return sending it back if it doesn't sell. The shop is much bigger than our shop but we face the same problems and the same issues and we're still trying to do the same thing so we're trying to look at the quality of the work we're trying to look at the offer that we can give and we want to be able to keep increasing and keep pushing the envelope of what you can get people to buy. I think it's an integral part of the audience experience I think you get to a stage where regular visitors that come to site who might be our members come here knowing that they can pick up a great gift for a friend's birthday or a relative's celebration and because we have quite a, a mix of product, you can get maybe what you weren't expecting to buy alongside your greetings card core gift. So that's what makes this type of retail a lot more exciting in some respects to mainstream retail. Shops are a vital part of a museum or visitor attraction because it brings in an income. Um, but I think it also what it does is it builds a bridge between the audience and what you're trying to show them. Everybody knows what to do when they come into a shop. Everybody knows that they can wander around, they can buy things, they can like things, they can not like things, they can pick things up, they can have a look at it. Because if you're selling work that has got a, a nod to what you're showing in the exhibition space, then actually what that does is it creates a bridge for people to be able to go and see that and they feel comfortable, more comfortable then about the idea of looking around an art gallery. When you have popular shows on, that the secondary spend in retail is significantly stronger. Um, and sometimes, you know, that can also be challenging and unique to this sector because, you know, no one really knows if an exhibition is going to be popular. So I think what we've learned is that we have a small core range to launch with an exhibition and depending then on appetite, visitor numbers, feedback, we then are ready to launch additional range around that product. It's taken a, a long time to get to where we're at with the product ranges and we're really keen to obviously have art at the heart of everything we do. It's in our collections, it's why we were founded. So from that point of view, we've worked really closely with artists to design inspired product and I think the thing that you can guarantee in a, a museum shop wherever you may be is that there'll always be a small memento that you want to take away with you and that that's the experience that you'll remember and through that product that you'll have fond memories of. I don't I wouldn't want somebody to walk into the shop in the castle and go oh I've seen that in lots of different places. I want to be the one that finds something that they go wow I've never seen that before that's really interesting. The one thing that I think you learn through experience is to be in those sort of central conversations when an exhibition is being discussed and actually from a commercial point of view that's okay um, to think about whether or not commercially this will also be successful and you know learning through having touring shows and also working with the artists you know artists are really keen to ensure that the product that we have in the shop reflects their, their shows and also they're really open to working and developing product. Retail in this environment can be challenging with regards to everyone has an opinion. So you have to be really clear in the decisions that you make and feel justified in some of those buying decisions. And sometimes you can get it wrong, but that's okay as long as you learn what went wrong and why 
but I think for anyone that's new to museum retail, the joy of it is that when you see products selling in large volume and you hear the fee feedback from visitors, you know, it's really, really rewarding.